All right, y'all. So obviously everybody watching this video is gonna have different skill levels, but anybody that rides streets can use this technique to add more style, to uh, get bigger jumps in their tricks. You know, overall just add more flavor to your riding. So this first step um, is gonna be pretty basic, but it's absolutely necessary to the brake jam style for the streets without using the clutch. So if you're already past this point, skip and go to the next step. But the first step is going to be being able to float the bike. Like when you're riding, you could pull back at any second and make the bike float. That is the number one step to the brake jam is actually floating the bike. So I'm gonna pull one up right here, kind of show you what I'm talking about. So you can hear when I shut the engine off, shut the throttle off, that's the bike, the bike's floating. So um, there's a lot of misconception about this whole brake jam style that um, it can only be done with a big rotor, it can only be done with the clutch. But what I'm telling you is, if you have the right technique, you can do this because everybody knows I'm on the stock rotor and I obviously don't pull in the clutch when I jump. So um, just get a couple of these floaters, right? So as soon as I shut the, shut the gas off, the bike's floating. So the next step off of that is getting to the point where you feel comfortable the second that you can, and this is all gonna be, when you jam the brake, it's gonna be all one fluid motion. So you're rocking back and as soon as you hit the floating point, you're jamming the brake. So I'm gonna do it a few times on the seat just so you can kind of see what it looks like. front ends jumping down like that that's actually what gives us the air and a couple things here what actually gives you the air is two things the momentum that you're getting obviously the bounce and also too like I said before you're separating yourself from the bike so realistically you're not actually jumping any higher than you were before but when the bike is but when the bike comes down, controlled, you're farther away from it. So that actually the illusion gives it look like you're actually going higher. So again. So we're rocking the bike back and we're just letting it float. And then right as it gets to that floating point, we're jamming at the same time. Key is here is that a lot of people will do is you don't actually get to the point where you're letting off the gas, which you're not gonna get as much air because if you don't let off the gas, if you don't let off the gas, the engine is actually pushing you through the brake still. And so you're not gonna get the same amount of pop. So like for instance, if I go like this and I just jam the brake, it's really out of control because the bike is fighting itself. But if I let off and then I jam it, I get a lot more force. So what I would suggest here is get in your most comfortable wheelie. It doesn't have to be a sea sander. Um, it could be a sit down. It can be a spreader. Whatever you think is your most comfortable wheelie and literally just practice rocking the bike back, letting the gas off, and then jamming the brake. I'm getting, you can see all the distance that I'm getting. So I'm literally, like I said, rocking it back. As soon as I'm getting to the point where I let off the gas, the bike needs to be floating, which means it needs to be at balance, I'm sorry, it needs to be at 12 or a little bit farther back to be able to float. And then once you hit that point, just jam the brake. So I know a lot of you guys already have the skill where you can float the bike. And if you can't, that's okay, but you need to work on that first. We're just gonna put all these together so we can form some sort of combo. But um, 
after that is going to be your timing with your jump so basically here i'll do a um a kneely rock it back like that okay so i get it back gas is off jamming the brake gas is off timing being able to concentrate on one like I said your float your brake jam and your jump all have to be in sync so that's another thing that even if you know how to float the bike even if you know how to jam the brake you might actually have to work on your timing because you know you might go all the way back and you might scrape or you might not get um, you might not quite get it back far enough and then when you jam the brake you set you know you set your wheelie down so um, like I said, I like to do this one with the Neely. Um, the Neely is actually my favorite trick to do this with. Jam it. You're getting so much air. So, you can see I did it a couple times right there with spreader and you can see when my feet pop off the tank that that's where I'm getting that ump in that jump from spreader to frog or that's where I'm getting the ump when I go from spreader to Neely so it's basically kind of like what you guys are seeing in the lot but it's just a different way to manipulate the bike to actually have it be more smooth um, I don't know anybody that pulls in the clutch on the street and does that kind of stuff if you do props to you um, definitely not for me I've not quite mastered the um, spread of the frog yet. Can do it pretty consistently, but it's it takes so much effort. There it is. Guys, take these couple steps and run with them. Um, if you have any questions, hit me up. Uh, let me know if I can help you in any way. Um, if you want, send me your footage on IG, that Nasty Nate Jr. of you practicing this, and I'll try to help you or coach you into um, different ways that I can help you see where maybe you're falling short, where you're not letting the bike float as much, or um, you're jamming the brake too early, you're jamming it too hard, you're not jamming it hard enough, you know? Um, your timing's just a little off with your jumps, but this is something, like I said, that I feel like is kind of my style that has added a lot of, uh, a lot of flair to my riding and I want to show people and teach people how to do the same. So thank you guys for watching. If you got value from this video, drop a comment, um, share it with somebody, share it with somebody that, that can't jump and that needs a little extra help because this will actually help you jump as well. So this isn't just like, you know, for people that can only do combos or only, you know, if you can't jump, this will add that flair to your riding. you guys in the next one.